Wednesday morning. Time to start heading toward Grapevine, Texas for NS Expo 2024. 120209. Let's get this party started. And we're off. This car is loving the miles. And so am I, to be honest. This car saw only about 300 miles all year, so it feels good to stretch its legs a little. Of all the random places to stop in Lordsburg, New Mexico, and I see my friend Armando with his mom. So, <laughs> wow. Just dropping down into El Paso from this bypass route called Highway 375. Paying a visit now to Jason in El Paso, and you're gonna see this truck in a couple weeks. This is none other than the famous 1987 F-250 diesel that's been under restoration for the last couple years. And Jason is gonna showcase this vehicle at the upcoming show in Southern California. He also has a very clean IS. It is now four o'clock in the morning, or three o'clock my time, here in El Paso, Texas. Gonna head out right now and make my way toward the DFW Lakes Convention Center and Hotel. Should be there by early afternoon in time to make it for the three o'clock to five o'clock check-in window for registration for the social component of NS Expo. Interestingly enough, I just got a text from my phone that said, welcome to Mexico. You know you're driving close to the border when you see that come through on your automated um, cell service. And then just a little bit further down the road, there is this checkpoint here. It's an immigration border patrol thing. It says, have immigration documents ready. They do this as a order of business for uh, interstates that run close to the border here. And I just got complimented by border patrol on the car. He asked me how fast I've taken it. And that's a trick question because I don't want to incriminate myself. So I just said, I took it at triple digits on a track. That's good enough for what he needs to know. A little bit of drama. I could hear and detect something stuck in my wheel well wrapped around the suspension and it happened to be big old Texas tumbleweed that I had to break up. And we are getting some 93 octane now. Not something we get in Arizona unless you're going to the race, gra uh, race gas station. You know you're in Texas when you come to a boot store with a massive cattle skull on the exterior. Just about there. There it is. The crazy thing is, it's not the first Acura meet I've been to here. In 2005, the very first National Acura Legend meet, or at that time called NLARLM because we had RLs here, uh, was held at the same location. So I'm going to try and maybe even recreate some of the similar photo ops around the campus here. Oh, there it is. I think I found it. check in there's Liz handling the desk and Rick so we're gonna get my lanyard my name tag and my swag bag and we'll get situated looks like it's gonna be a very busy next few days there's a the play-by-play what's up looking good One of these things does not belong here, and it's that right there. So Jordan just showed up in his TLX A-Spec all-wheel drive to crash the party, and crash it he did. That is the star of the show right there. Closing out the first day of NS Expo here, and it is just crazy. Every time I go to one of these events, I'm shocked at the sheer 
unlikeliness of ever seeing this many NSXs in one place at one time. That was a little embarrassing. I actually walked beyond my car and started sticking my key in the door lock of that one to get in. I think that could only happen when you're in a parking lot like this. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna see people in NSX is parking on the left in this massive lot. Keep going straight through and you're gonna be flagged across this little street. So we just finished a group photo, well actually it's individual photos down at the uh, parking lot this way. You can kind of see it in the distance the Fort Worth skyline and they're cycling cars through the parking lot there so that Rebecca Nguyen can do a picture but it's a little chaotic. Fort Worth police are getting involved to help direct traffic down there and uh, yeah so we're gonna go wander the stockyards now. My last trip here was in 2015, I think, with some friends, and I got a picture underneath this exact sign. Who put that Camry in that parking space? Come on now. Made it to dealer day at Grubbs Acura. These guys rolled out the red carpet. Look at this colorful arrangement here with the parking. Pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna make the rounds and check out the merchandise. This is also our car show judging. So every car got a dash number that people are using to pick their faves. Look at that, there's a Honda Beat here. There's my twin. One of them. guys almost to five six seven eight nine I was tasked with finding the highest mileage car in here which is not easy because some people have dinted windows and I don't want to open their door but I did find a 250,000 miler right off the bat it's a black car that's behind me a little bit <laughs> nice I'm gonna, drive I'm gonna put that on there and just be like I think this guy wins the award yeah Wow. All the way here. Right? Love that bridge system. Blake is a local legend guy who came out today to be part of our NS Expo. He lives about 30 to 40 miles east of here, but this legend is particularly cool because it is a right-hand drive car. He did all the import work on this within the last few years to bring it stateside and get it road legal here. Very cool car. Doing our group photo finally here. There's the famous Dallas skyline and it's gonna be a bit of an ordeal to get all the cars situated for this picture, but I'm confident that the planning team has figured it out. So let's see how this goes.
getting ready to kick off our closing ceremony, which includes the banquet, awards, raffle, silent auction, some recognition, some speakers, and plenty of socializing as usual. So let's see what this place looks like in here. And here's the dinner venue. And the seats have now filled in. We've got a big group here for wrapping up the event. Extra special to me. Because everybody that knew me from high school, anywhere on the stage, we just want to make sure you all come up here. We've got room on this side. Mark, why are you being scared? Come on over, man. Yes. All right, so. Without these amazing sponsors, we would not have been able to have the amazing event that we had this week. Congratulations. I mean, after 27 years of the history of the NXX. Just finishing up our adventure here in Dallas and time to hit the road and head to the Western States. Back on the road from Sweetwater, Texas, now headed westbound again. This is the Loves in Lordsburg, New Mexico, and it could technically be my last fuel stop of the day if I wanted it to. I probably will stretch my legs one more time at least. Just made friends with this guy who's driving a very clean EM1 Civic SI in black. Back in Tucson, and I do love these Arizona mountain ranges. That's a wrap. I am home sweet home, and it was about 1,100 miles, I think, today. Final odometer reading on the car is 122.515.7. And I gotta say, this thing was absolutely flawless. I had driven it previous to this only a few hundred miles all year. And in 2023, it saw about 1,300 miles. So I drove it more in the last four days then it was driven basically in the last two years and the car did not skip a beat. So thanks for coming along.